peace and greetings, soul family. Welcome on in to Planet Remix Radio. I am your host, of course, Miss Blue, the Soulful Oracle. And I want to welcome you on in to this very special edition of Planet Remix Radio. Yeah, we're going to be doing Cosmic Energy for the week. And have no fear, because we have a pretty interesting week with lots of activity going on. But have no fear. We have some sky support that's coming in to assist us every step of the way. (laughs) So, welcome on in to Planet Remix Radio. We're going to dive into this. And um, I'm going to drop those gems for you this week. Get you a pen, a piece of paper, maybe grab you a cup of tea or something to drink. I have made some ceremonial cacao that I've been kind of sipping on here. And I have all of my notes. I've been in the Akasic Records this week. I've been working with my crystals, sending out some energy healing and doing tons of research for an amazing, amazing project we have coming up very soon. So, I want to welcome you on in. So, if you're new here, welcome. If you're listening in the future, no matter when you're listening, or if you're coming from the past to the present, know you are in the right place to be in the galaxy, Planet Remix Radio. And we're going to get into the cosmic energy for the week. (laughs) Well, let me tell you this. If you wake up on Monday or you find yourself walking around on Monday and you feel like you're kind of having an out-of-body experience, know that that's just the energy that's in the atmosphere. But it is an opportunity for you to ground yourself. And so, Before you start your day, every single day this week, it really should be a practice we're doing all the time, but definitely this week, you're going to want to put some extra work in. And by the way, I know you may be feeling a little frustrated in certain areas of your life. There are things you're trying to get to move forward, and it just seems like no matter what you do, it's just not going where you want. It's okay. Take a step back. Relax. Just relax. Know that you are in divine time and trust when it happens. But here's what I don't want you to do. This is definitely not the time to give up. See, we're all being called to the carpet in some kind of area of our lives. And it's really about walking your walk and talking your talk and doing the things that we need to do. And that's what's really happening. And so it's calling on you to take that position, to take your rightful place in your life as the creator of your life and your reality. So here's one of the steps I want you to do. Get you a piece of paper, blank piece of paper, and get you a blue ink pen. You can grab some markers, but get you a blue ink pen. And I want you to sit down and I want you to write down your vision. I'm talking about your big vision. Like what's next for you? What are you feeling? Everything. Put it on the paper because this is going to help you open up your energy and it's going to help you to get some clarity in your vision. I promise you, if you do this on Monday, by the time we get to Wednesday, Things are going to seem so much clearer than they are. So, do that. Put it down on a piece of paper so you can have some action steps that you can begin to take to move yourself forward. The other thing I want to tell you, listen to your intuition. Trust your intuition. Those coincidences, those push thoughts that are just coming in, they're not coming in for no reason. They're coming in for guidance. 
but you have to be very careful because we have some tricky energy that's out here in this atmosphere. And, you know, a lot of things are up for grabs. And after all, this is the month of January. And even though it is the first month, which one speaks to this freshness, this newness that we all will be feeling more intensely, right? It's a new beginning, like a fresh start. You're going to feel that energy. But universally, this is the eighth month, right? So one plus seven, 20, 23 brings us to eight. And eight is all about abundance. It's all about having courage. It's all about leadership. It's also all about facing those things within ourselves that we know are sort of, hmm, what can I say? Our weakness or areas in our lives that challenge us. And so we're all being called to really step it up in our lives. So we're leveling up. We've been receiving tons of downloads and those downloads been coming in since 19, 2019. And now we're in activation time. So if you're feeling some extra energy, that's what it is. You just need to sit quietly with yourself and really give yourself space and grace. And I promise you, you're going to know exactly what area of your life that you need to step it up in. The other thing I want to tell you, many of you are have some exciting projects coming up. You have opportunities that are presenting themselves to you and you are making opportunities for others as well, which is a beautiful, amazing thing. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to get a clear plan. We've got to get a little bit more discipline in how we're moving ourselves forward. And let me tell you why. Because this is something we talk a lot about on Planet Remix. Right now, we are writing the records. You heard me. As in the Akasic records for the world. Right now, we are writing our records. Not only for ourselves, but also for everything on the planet. Know that you have just as much power, the people, us, spiritual beings growing up on planet Earth as anyone else on the planet. And so just because someone says something has to be a recession or, you know, it has to be all of these things going on, it doesn't necessarily mean that that has to be true for you in your life. So I want you to kind of pull back from any distractions and get very clear. It's time to get your house in order. It is time to get your house in order. So I want you to work on organizing, getting things clear, You know, not just clearing out things in your physical house, but I want you to think about the house yourself, right? Your physical body, your mind, like making sure you're clearing out. Are you still holding on to some old thoughts? Ooh, ooh. Are you still holding on to things that just don't serve you, just don't do you well? You need to bless them. You need to bless it and you need to continue to move on and move yourself forward. Move yourself forward. There is a bigger picture going on here and this bigger picture here is all about building. Building, it's about legacies, it's about everything that you could have ever imagined yourself doing living, living the life that you came to the planet to live, that is here for you. So I don't care how foggy things may look for you right now. I don't care how things appear to be. I want you to hold the faith. Hold the faith. 
and trust that all is in proper divine alignment. And that alignment has everything to do with you. It has everything to do with you. And it's important because we're moving into Aquarius season. And Aquarius is all about vibration. What's your vibe, baby? What kind of vibe are you holding? And especially for this month of January, because this has so much to do with abundance, prosperity, um, leadership. You know, it has so much to do with all of these things. This eight energy is all about infinite possibilities. It also has to do with flow. And when you bring these two together and you mix it together, listen, anything is possible. We have to make sure that we have the courage and the inner confidence that we can overcome any situation, any obstacle that is in front of us. You have to definitely go within and take the time. Take the time to really process what your thoughts are and know that you can find a way. And like I said, we're going to be receiving some sky support from our spirit guides and our ancestors. And you can offer up prayer and guidance. And don't forget about your loved ones and people you're connected with to offer that for them too. So this is because your intuition, listen, it's going to be on fleek, but so are your thoughts. So that means whatever thought you're holding, because energy goes where thought flows, we have to make sure that we're being responsible with what we're entertaining, what we're thinking, and even what we're feeling. And so there's many things that you can do. And I promise you, I put a lot of frequency, a lot of vibration um, into this message here to help you recalibrate your energy. So no matter how many times you have to put this on, even if you have to put it on in the background, you can do that as well. You can put it on in the background. So if you find yourself getting upset or getting angry or someone pushing your button, I want you to just kind of take a chill pill and pause for a little bit and just breathe. Breathe before you say anything, before you send that email, before you push that button. (laughs) I want you to just breathe and make sure you're breathing out first. Another thing that I will tell you about 2023, this is all about our nervous system. And we've really, really have got to learn how to run our energy in a very, very nice, and smooth direction. Very smooth. And if you want to know what I'm talking about when I say you have to learn how to run your energy, this is what I want you to do. I have a astro wave clearing part one that's available for you. And this is a way that you can really ground yourself and clear yourself. Uh, Details will be down in the description box. I'll put it here. And this is going to show you, the more that you practice this, how to run your energy so that you don't let outside things instantly impact you. And it's okay, but you want to stay at the zero point as much as possible. Because really, all of this energy, if you wake up, you feel anxious, you feel nervous, This is creative energy that's building inside of you. And you can use this energy for self-love, for healing, for courage, and inner confidence to know that you can navigate these waters. You can navigate this energy that is before you and manifest into something beautiful for the future. Right now, we are harvesting 
energetic seeds and we are planting these seeds. And in the next couple of months, we're going to start seeing all of this that we're putting out there, good, bad, or ugly. You're going to see this coming back. And I don't want you to put something ugly out. I don't want you to put something bad out. I want you to put something with intention out. But you got to take some action, right? You got to take some action steps. And I know you can do it. I absolutely know you can do it. So here are some tips that I want you to start out doing. Number one, start your day when you get up in the morning. For those of you who have the lucky blueprint, this is a great time to do that if you started that or working with the lucky blueprint. You can start your day out by before you get out of bed. I want you to use your voice. Sound is so powerful. Let me tell you. The cosmos, God, the universe, your higher self responds to sound, responds to sound. I want you to use your name. Close your eyes before you get out of bed. And I want you to use your name to tone yourself. And you're just going to repeat your name until you feel that vibration from the tips of your toes to the top of your head. And that's going to take care of all of your energy centers, your chakras in your body, and it's going to put them in alignment. And I want you to do that for at least three minutes before you get out of bed. And you're going to know it because you're going to feel your energy just amped up, like all the way amped up. And then next, when you get ready to jump into the shower or take a bath, whatever that ritual is, or you're getting into water, I want you, when you're in the shower, to allow the water to just kind of cleanse and energize you. And I want you to see the water in colors. So pick a color. When you're in the shower, pick a color. You can close your eyes and just really see what color comes to you. And it doesn't matter if it's red, if it's blue, if it's green, if it's pink, if it's orange, if it's yellow, if it's purple, if it's gold, if it's any of the colors, whether they're colors of minerals or any other color, if it's multiple colors, allow the energy to come in. Come in, see as the water touches your body, as this being light coming into your body, because that's what colors are. They are light particles. And I want you to see that because you're going to be training yourself to receive energy, not just any, any energy, high frequency energy. So you're going to let that come in. And then I also want you to pay attention to all of your thoughts that are coming in when you're in the shower or taking a bath, because that's going to be key for you. And then I want you to commission, commission your higher self to give you that one phrase that will center you and ground you for the whole entire week. Just that one phrase. Then the other thing that I want you to do, I think we're on about the third or the fourth thing, is I want you to set a goal for yourself this week of something you are working towards that you must accomplish this week. And the reason I'm giving that to you, because sometimes we get ourselves in the position where we're kind of like on autopilot and our subconscious mind has taken over. And sometimes if we are not in the right frequency, what is coming up from our subconscious mind will reflect what the collective conscious is going through. And let me tell you something, it can get kind of tricky and messy in these cosmic streets this week. And you do not want to go to default and let your mind and vibration just settle in with what everything is happening out in the world. You want to set your own frequency. So what I want you to do is to set some goals for yourself this week. 
some physical goals that you must take action step on and you must complete for the week. So it can be something simple, but I want to encourage you to do some practical magic here. So whether that's organizing, you know, your desk at work, or if that is getting your finances in orders or taking a look at it, if it is working on you know, maybe changing your room around or cleaning out your desk. (laughs) I guess I'm talking to myself on that one. I need to reorganize my desk. But whatever it is, I want you to think about something physical, a goal to work on. I want you to give yourself some mental goals to work on. So if you find sometimes your mind just sort of starts looping and it's going back over a situation that you're over it, like you're so done with it, you're over it and you really want to get past it. Maybe one of the goals is that you will find a thought to replace that thought of a higher frequency. So for instance, if you're thinking about something that impacted you in your childhood, and every time you think about maybe you don't have enough money to pay your bills, or you want to take a trip and you can't, or it may not even be anything of that nature, or if someone treats you a particular way, it just sort of strikes something up in you. I want you to dig deep. And I want you to come up with a higher vibrational thought to replace that thought. And here's why. Because I need you to stay present. There is going to be so much for you this week that's going to answer some questions, give you some clarity, and also give you a vision for the future that is coming directly from you. From you. And it's lots of healing energy out there. We don't want to waste that energy on something that has already happened. We want to make sure we're staying present. Because the truth is, the past, the future, and the present, that shit is all happening at the same time. So, stay present. Because then it gives you access to all your spiritual gifts. And also... When you start your day, I want you to really visualize your whole day before you start it. Of course, you're going to leave room for the universe, for God, the Most High, to surprise you with some good stuff. But I want you to put some points in there and I want you to just pay attention because you're going to see it show up. You're going to see how your energy changing it, being in the right space, It's not only making a difference in your life, but it's making a difference in everything and everyone who's in contact with you. So that's what I want to give you for this week. I promise you the greater your energy, let me tell you, the greater your rewards will be. And that is kicking off a perfect start for January and 2023. So that's what I have for you. I definitely want you to leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're feeling and make me a promise if you would, please. If you guys want to hear more of this, do more of this, I certainly will. But make sure you come back and also let me know, right? how your week is going, and make sure you maintain your frequency. So I'm going to get ready to get out of here. Have an amazing, wonderful, powerful week. We have a new moon in Aquarius coming up. And that new moon in Aquarius is really bringing us some very beautiful, beautiful energy. So keep knowing your magic. No love is the only thing real here. And I will see you in these cosmic streets. Oh, before I go, I do have a crystal. I have a crystal for you to work with this week. I know many of you have been asking for it. So let me tell you a great crystal to work with. And that's going to be sugar light. Oh my goodness. Sugar light. And it's spelled S-U-G-I. 
L-I-T-E, Sugar Light. And it doesn't matter what color you get. If you get purple or violet or pink, it's going to be absolutely perfect. Because what we're doing is we're really going to be working with some energy of our crown chakra, right? This whole entire year. Plus, we're going to be working with that solar plex because we got some DNA upgrades, some upgrades to our crystalline bodies, upgrades to our blood, to our spirit. We got we got all kinds of upgrades and activations coming in this year. Our Merkaba, all of that. But I want you to work with this sugar light crystal because it's excellent, not only for the third eye and really helping us to be able to hear and listen to our intuition, but it really is like a bridge, a bridge between this, our spirit and our mind. You know, really bringing that energy together. So everything is in the flow and it will allow us to be flexible and open at the same time, right? To making sure that we're receiving, but we're also taking action. And it also helps us not to have these repeating limited thoughts, right? So it helps to declutter. So not only is it good for your physical space, this is a good crystal for you, for you to begin to start working with because it helps with decluttering. It helps with the intuition and the crown chakra. And it's wonderful for bringing in light. And it also helps us to understand the role that our subconscious mind is playing in our lives. It helps us to harmonize situations and resolve conflicts. It works amazing with our immune system. If you have any kind of pain or need healing in your body, this is excellent, excellent for all of our nervous system as well. So I'm going to tell you really quick how to work with it. And then I'm going to get out of here. I'm not going to be long. But if you want to tap into your intuition and you really, really want to work with your energy along with all the other things that I gave you, the steps, get you a sugar light crystal. And of course, clear the crystal and charge the crystal. And um, yeah, do that. And then what I want you to do, and you can dive into the archives. We got plenty of shows on how to do that. But then I want you to get one small enough that you can put it in the palms of your hand. You can use it when you're praying, when you're meditating. You can keep it in your sacred space because crystals work through a process called entrainment. And so just like we have auras and magnetic field and the planet has an aura and a magnetic field, so does crystals. For that matter, so does everything. But crystals are able to hold a particular frequency based on their makeup and based on their color. So keep those two things in mind. But I want you to get one small enough that you can put it in your belly button. Yeah, put it in your belly button so you can sleep with it at night. It's excellent for being in the dream world, in the astro realm. And you can also ask them questions when you go to sleep. You can also sleep with it right underneath your pillow. And um, also you can put it in your pocket. Brothers, you can drop it in your socks. And sisters, you want to drop that crystal right in your bra. You want to keep that close to your physical body because the closer the crystal is to you and the more you work with it, it is a reminder. And based on your intention, it is going to help your aura maintain that intention and that frequency. So it's kind of like it's bouncing it back off to you. If you've ever played handball or if you've ever played um, tennis, it that's how the energy is coming back and forth to you. So it's reminding your energy field of your intention and reminding it of the frequency to maintain. 
So it's a great tool to work with. But you remember, you are the magic because nothing will work if you don't work. But it is something very great if you want to get you a sugar light crystal and begin to work with it. And by the way, if you have it and you're working with it and you plan on working with it this week, make sure you drop a comment down below because I want to hear about that because it's excellent for everything in the body and it helps to open you up to take more light in and for energy to flow just to flow because that's what we want to do we want to flow with the energy so I think that's it I don't think I have anything else for right now except for that so wishing you all an amazing wonderful powerful week (laughs) I'm going to get ready to get out of here. I love you all, Soul Family. Have an amazing week. Peace and love. Ciao.